What's up guys? So we're in another video today. So now in this video, I'm going to be showcasing the industrial decor mod right over here. Now this mod adds a whole bunch of new blocks right over here that would fit perfectly with industrial themed builds. So yeah, now anyway, there's a whole bunch of blocks and there's even a new armor set right over here. And I'll be showcasing that at the end of the video. So yeah, now anyway, let's get into it. So yeah, now the first set of blocks is the padded blocks. Now we have the regular padded block as well as the mini padded block. And then of course you have these stairs and slabs. And then for the padded blocks, they kind of sound like snow or wool. So this is what they sound like. So once again, that's what they sound like. So they kind of sound like snow or wool, I would say. So they have an interesting sound. And then you also have padded doors and slab, I mean, trap doors. Once again, and this one, you can't open with your bare hands. You need like redstone to open this. So you'll need that. And then the next one is actually really interesting right over here as this one is called the link fence or the chain link fence right over here. Now what's interesting about this one and what is sets it apart from iron bars is that you can actually climb it up. So right over here, you can climb it up. We can get down and then we can scale down from it actually. Once again, that's pretty cool. And then this one is the barb barbed chain link fence right over here. So this one, you can climb up it once again, but what's different about this one is that if you are in survival mode, you'll actually take damage. And of course you could see there from previous recordings that I did take some damage already. But anyway, this right over here is uh, the iron bars, but they are barbed iron bars. So once again, you can't climb up these ones though. So once again, I feel like those ones, like the barbed ones, will definitely be perfect for prison themed builds so the prisoners can't escape without getting damaged so i think it'll work perfectly right over there so once again and then we have a gold chain right here we have the gold chains so in minecraft vanilla minecraft they have the regular iron chains right over here they're just called chains yeah chains so once again but this one has a gold change right over here. So now you can have gold change, which might work well with builds that use gold. And then right over here is actually really interesting. So these are actually large chains. So unlike the regular chains, they're actually much thicker. So you can't easily walk through them or you can't at all actually. So you can't actually do that unlike the regular change where you can just do like this or whatever. Once again, and if we look at the hitbox right over here, this is the hitbox for the chains, like both the iron and gold. And this is for the large change right over here. And then you of course have some gold variants right over here. And then right over here is the chain link door and the chain link trap door right over here. So once again, you can open these with your bare hands. So any of them, you see a lever. Those ones you cannot uh, open with your hands. So you'll need redstone. So once again, and then this right over here is the industrial iron block right over here. And then you also have pillars right over here, uh, bolted. And then you have the stairs and slabs. And then you also have the doors and trap doors, which once again, you need redstone for this one. And then for the next one, you this oh come on whatever now anyway you have the cast iron block right over here and then the cast iron pillar um cast iron bricks and then cast iron stairs and slabs and all these other variants so once again i'm forgetting to do the sound right over here but i'll go over them quickly once again that's what those sound like once again a lot of these are going to have more metal kind of sounds right over here so once again they're all kind of going to kind of sound like that right over here once again and then if we go past this or oh actually this is the next one right over here so this is the cast iron bowl uh, trade i'm not sure how you pronounce that but once again these ones are pretty similar to iron bars from what i can tell they're pretty similar i mean they might be a little bit different in some kind of way once again that would also be a nice block for your build if it's like one of these like industrial kind of builds once again so these are sheet metal or sheet metal plating so you have the stairs and slabs and then you have paneling uh siding and walling right over here once again these would look good in different settings so this one goes up the pattern goes up and then this one the pattern goes sideways so once again this sounds kind of like regular ore blocks in my opinion so that's what that one sounds like but anyway and then right over here is the sheet metal treading right over here and then you have stairs and slabs 
as well as metal doors, sheet metal doors, and trap doors. Once again, and these you can open with your bare hands. And then you also have rusty sh uh, sheet metal plating right over here. And then the regular stuff once again. And once again, I'm pretty sure, yeah, these are just the variants, but these are just rusty variants of the previous ones. And then you also have cinder blocks right over here. So once again, these are cinder blocks. And I was just clear my inventory, so it wasn't full of stuff. Once again, you have cinder blocks. You have a regular kind and then a polished kind. And then you also have a brick variant and then the regular stairs and slab variants. And then you also have cardboard right over here, which these are really cool. Once again, and these just sound like regular, like, stone kind of blocks but once again and then you have cardboard which kind of sounds like dirt to be honest i'm just saying kind of sounds like dirt so once again and these blocks would look kind of cool even if it's not industrial i feel like these ones once again even though this is targeted towards industrial builds this mod you can use some of these blocks out of industrial settings you can probably use them in other settings like this could be a nice flooring right over here Although it sound kind of like dirt for the people walking on it, but you could use that for your flooring and it could look nice once again And then you have a uh, polished and then you have a scrap right over here Which ones again, it just sounds like that And these ones actually have a unique sound from what I can hear Once again, these have a unique sound and of course you can just open these with your bare hands once again, and then you have rusty iron, rusty iron door, and rusty iron trap door. Which, once again, they're just uh, rusty variants of the vanilla iron blocks. Once again, and then you need redstone to open these. And then these ones are actually really cool, as these ones are wrapped chains. Once again, these are block variants, like full block variants of the chain blocks. Which is actually really cool. And then these ones are iron bar doors and trap doors. And you need redstone to open these. So once again, and then you also have a redstone lantern right over here. And then you have different kinds of lanterns. So you have a large lantern, a large soul lantern, and a large redstone lantern. And for the final one, you do need a uh, like some kind of redstone to activate this one. Like for example, I had a lever behind it to activate that one. And then these ones are actually really cool. So these are actually neon blocks right over here. Once again, you have a whole bunch of them. So you have red, uh, orange, yellow, green, cyan, blue, pink, purple. And then you also have a rainbow right over here. And then you also have a black light right over here. And now that's it for the blocks right over here. And then we have the items. So you also have a new anchor and hook item right over here. So you have two new items. And then you also have some rusty iron ingot and rusty iron nugget, which these are actually really interesting as they have cracks in them. And then you have sheet metal and rusty sheet metal. And then this is an industrial iron billet. And then this is a past iron billet. And then this one is just cardboard. So those are the materials for these items right over here. And then the last one is the armor right over here. Now this does not have like a tool set or a weapon set. It just is armor. But once again, if we put this on. Yeah, so once again, it actually does not give you any armor points. So it's not like other kinds of armor. So it's not like if we go even like leather armor, for example, it does not actually give you that. But what it does give you is ar armor toughness right over here. So some of them have armor toughness right over here. Like it, you would have to go. So only diamond and netherite have armor toughness. Um, and also the new cardboard item, like the new cardboard set that has armor toughness, but it doesn't actually have armor points. So once again, it probably will be, it, it's definitely going to be weaker than leather. So uh, yeah, you'd probably want to use leather rather than this. But if you, for whatever want, reason, want to use cardboard, then now you can wear it. You can now wear a cardboard set of armor right over here. And then let's put this back right over here. So once again, and then let's put this all back on the nice set right over here. Once again, I just saw this mod of like kind of like a year and a half ago. I've seen like a lot of these mods I've showcased a lot of them. I've seen for a while, but like this one, I find like I decided I would make a video about it because it didn't look like something that would take too long to set up to make a video. So I wanted to make a video about this, and it's a pretty decent mod, so I wanted to showcase it. So yeah, now anyway, that'll be it for the video today. Hope you enjoyed, and uh, goodbye.